this is Pikmin 216. It's another Pikmin 2 ROM hack. Hopefully, it's not exactly like all the other Pikmin 2 ROM hacks. Made by Teddy Ursa Yoshi, we're gonna see what the heck's going on. This is indeed a blind playthrough. I have absolutely no idea what to expect. I don't know if there's, uh... <laughs> I don't know anything about it. I assume there's custom treasures. I assume there's custom caves. I don't know. I don't know if the Pikmin types are custom. I don't know if they've been altered. I have not looked. Why am I doing this again? Why am I playing another Pikmin 2 ROM hack? It's because you people like it. And because I got tired of editing Galaxy Kaizo. What do you guys think 216 means? We're gonna find out together, I think. Okay, we have normal Pikmin. Those are red Pikmin. But the Bulborb is purple. I like this little star cursor we got going on. My question is, I'm am I able to just like leave them? It doesn't seem like it. It seems like I actually have to do this little little section right here. We'll just do it. We'll just get Ollie to punch the crap out of this bull borb. How's the run going? I have five Pikmin, so it's going fantastic. None of them have died yet. This has been deathless so far, guys. Can you believe it? That's insane. I'm so nice with it. We have done absolutely nothing to warrant saying that. Oh, wait, I can throw them over to him. Oh, cute. Here we go. This is nice. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. I don't want to... You know what? I wanted to do the cutscene. I wanted to do the cutscene regardless. It's okay. I, they're Ollie's Pikmin. They only listen to Ollie. They said, Louie? After what you did in Pikmin 4, Louie? We're not listening to you anymore. Okay, out of curiosity, am I able to whistle the Pikmin now? Please listen to me this time. Bro, that's crazy, actually. Are you serious? Hold on. There's no way. It might be a wall, actually. But it's weird that, because even through walls, the whistle should be able to get the Pikmin to move at least toward the invisible wall. Also, does it unnerve anybody else that, like, the Titan Dweevil uh, fireflies are here? Because it unnerves me greatly. Nice little, little 20, 20 Pikmin on that guy, and let's, uh... We should probably maybe get some nectar. Y'all are going to be a little mad uh, if I don't get this nectar. After they get this down, perhaps I whistle them back. And perhaps we just see what's going on in the grass. Ooh, cute. The flowers are green. I like that. I think balance-wise, I prefer how nectar works in Pikmin 2, but I understand why it works the way it does in, like, 3 and 4. Like, I prefer it being a little mini game to try to get as many of your Pikmin onto the nectar as possible instead of it just being a flat 10 Pikmin are able to get flowered. I, I like that tiny little like skill check if you will. All right not that bad of a menu theme but we're gonna go back to the Golden Coast. Why'd that remind me of uh, California Girls <laughs> by Katy Perry. I hope the other areas are Katy Perry references. I want like hot and cold valley. I kissed a girl tundra. <laughs> Firework pool. That's what I want. All right, we're on a time limit again. Now I'm gonna actually have to play because I'd like to get to whatever first cave is in the game, you know? One thing that I am worried about is not having purples early on. Without purples, Pikmin 2 combat is by far the hardest in the series, by far. We gotta get in a, uh, a cave real quick, you know? Ooh, wait. Bro, there's totally a way we could skip this. Do I start already? I mean, okay, hold on. There's always a little bit of a learning curve here. It's okay. There we go. All right, that'll work. What's that from? I didn't recognize that one. Doesn't appear to go very deep. You would suggest hopping in now. I could consider it. However, I got, uh, I got places to go. I want to get past this on day two. But I don't want to kill any more of my Pikmin, because you guys are going to get mad. This is going to take forever. Nice. I want to get that way before I even go in the cave. The game can't tell me what to do. I'm doing it now. Only two Pikmin have died so far. It's okay. That's going to be it. That's, that's fine enough. So let's check out with seven Pikmin. Because we are going to go into that cave with the day. 
now I'm seeing this is just a remixed perplexing pool, which is okay. That is okay. Oh my god, there's so much happening. So, like, I, I like when, even though it's just the perplexing pool again, it's not um, the same, like, progression. Like, the things are in different spots, which I appreciate. <clears throat> this is the Overgrown Grotto. Piers' new climate conditions allow for lush environments. Guys, it's Caves and Cliffs Part 1. Let's go. Lush caves, baby. So somebody said the debt was 20k. Is that true? Sounds like my student loans, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why we're here today. Pikmin 216, I'm here to pay back my student loans. Ta-da! Astounding acorn. Astounding. And that's all the treasure on floor one. Let's get the heck out of here so we don't have to listen to that theme uh, as much. Okay? Sounds good? Sounds good. Oh, look at that. That looked cute. Oh, my goodness. The green behind that, like, the, the text there looked nice. Kudos to you, Teddy Yoshi, because that looked really good. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of bulb orbs here, too. Okay, let's, let's admire this right now. Aw. We got some white Pikmin. They have blue eyes. I wonder if they're stronger. I wonder why that is. Perhaps the white Pikmin evolved in response to more dangerous hazards. Oh, they're weaker. Oh, fantastic. Oh, good. I'm glad. Oh, I'm glad they're weaker, though. I'm glad they're weaker. That's, that's sweet. Blue Eyes White Pikmin is very funny. <laughs> I summon! I'm not even a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, but like, but I get it. I'm a man of culture, though, you know? I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh, but I appreciate what Yu-Gi-Oh brings to the table, okay? It's weird that we haven't seen the Spherical Atlas yet. That's an interesting little thing. I wonder, is this the... No, it's not the Spherical Atlas. It's something different. Is this the, the map? Wait, whoa, was that the map from the Wind Waker? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's just a, uh, what? Whoa. I don't understand it. Is this a reference to something? 300 bucks for the cartographer's notepad. Can't read all of this, but he obtained some geological information. And, uh, so we can go to another area, assumedly, to the Evergreen Forest, which is neat. Let's lock and load here. I got things to do in the evergreen forest. What things? I'm not quite sure. But there are indeed things to do. How many do we need? 150. So we need to get purples before we can even go that direction. Sounds good. How many creeping chrysanthemums are there? I see three. Let's do this. Let's not even try to look at that dude, okay? There's green berries as well, uh, which is interesting. Creeping Chris- how many of them are there gonna be, dude? I don't want to do that. I mean, I guess if there's nothing else to do, I will, but, you know. What color? Normal. Normal color. It looks like both kinds of berries are already accessible, which is kind of crazy. Because that's a- that's a green one, and that's a, a bitter one. And then I'm pretty sure their path back will be okay, because I did just give everybody the work, right? Uh, unless, nope, unless, nope, unless, nope, all done, oh god. Why did you go that way and everybody else did something normal? Oh no, don't, don't. No, that's a lie! Oh my god. The Creeping Chrysanthemum's hitbox is like the weirdest nonsense. Because that Pikmin was like behind him and to the right. And he still got him. And I knew that would happen. And I understand why the pathing did what it did. But I'm sad. The radioactive spicy spray. Although it is untested, you believe it'll have spectacular results. One bottle from five berries. That's pretty cool. SSBU hitbox moment. True... Looking like Steve's minecart out here. Don't play Smash at all, but when you do, you just play Toon Link or Gunner? Ew. God. Why would you say something so disgusting in my chat? 
play Toon Link or Me Gunner? That's like saying, yeah, I don't always go to elementary schools, but when I do, I punch the kids in the face. Break all this down, guys. There you go. Beautiful. Let's go. All right, let's get some, uh, some yellows up in this his house. Is this Wistful Wild skinned as Awakening Wood? It seems like it. I feel like the day is going so fast. I don't even know what to do. I want to get the pine cone, but like, I'm also scared of what's up here. I expect a Snagrit. If there's a Pileated Snagrit, I'm ending stream right now. It's a new game for us, you know? We're not, a, uh, we're not necessarily doing a, a speed run here, you know? I'm totally content with just grinding some sprays, existing, chat with you folks. I could probably make it to a cave, but I just want to make sure that I have the yellows. Like, I want their numbers to be higher. You know, I really shouldn't do anything with the rest of the day. I think I'm just going to exist. I have a tendency to, like, try to do things in the last 10 seconds of the day. I'm not going to. Right now, I'm just going to exist with you folks. Nature's Grenade is 100 smackaroonies. That's more than a year's salary, according to the president. However... It's not 2004 anymore. It's been 20 years. Inflation has ravaged Hokutate. I was going to say Hokutate Freight, but it also just affects the entire uh, the entire economy. You guys think COVID happened on Hokutate? <laughs> you guys think COVID happened on Kopai? <laughs> Prob That's probably what happened on Kopai. It was probably COVID, straight up. We should do the cave, right? I should do the cave. I mean, I'm going to go in with 100, but we should do the cave. You guys think the treasure gauge has been changed? You think the treasure gauge noise is different? I hope so. The treasure gauge sucks. That was like actually most of Kaizo's charm was the fact that we didn't have the treasure gauge. It was such a unique way to play through Pikmin 2, just entirely without the treasure gauge and having to kind of like listen every time. Sadly, it's the same. Yeah, that's okay. Don't always expect things like that to be changed. It would be nice, but it's okay. I'm hoping every single cave has the water wraith, personally. Alright. Brother Man is, uh... He's... I was like, he's just right out of range. That is a crazy spot. Ha <laughs> ha You know, if the game's gonna give me five berries for a bitter spray... <sighs> Woo! Ooh, I should go gambling. Let's go to the casino tonight, boys. Do we think this is going to be more than a uh, hundred Pikmin worth of a treasure? Or do we think that uh, we're not going to be able to carry it yet? Only 75 Pikmin. Not bad. Not bad. We take those absolutely. Geological dome. Okay. I see you. I see you, game. Not affiliated. Regular old Snagret. No big deal. And that is a, a watery cave, so we can't get back that way. No! No! Son of a... I feel cheated. I feel cheated! What? No! Go, go away! The heck? Give me the third! Give me another! Oh, another... Okay, that's actually... A Smaller strawberry, which we'll take. What kind of sicko only does two snagrits? I don't know. Congratulations on reaching the furthest point in the region. Shut up, nobody asked. A small squad of combat-ready Pikmin. All of my Pikmin are combat-ready. They are bred like the goddamn clone troopers. Attention sergeant on deck, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't I gonna start the day with a cave? It is the start of the day, right? <laughs> It still feels like the start of the day. And guys, to start off day four, we're gonna go into a cave at the very beginning of day four. Are you ready? What the heck? Is that a... Are you decorated over there, bro? Oh my goodness. A lot of Pokeballs. I get to talk about how the franchise was ruined by Pokemon Go every single time I get one of these then. That's pretty cool. Do we think that's heat seeking let's find out i doubt it are, are you the heat seeking one out of curiosity sir no you are the normal one however the boulders they kind of look like pieces of minecraft coal which i i respect 
And we got a pepper out of that. Beautiful. They're a little faster in this hack. I like that. This is the green inferno. It's a pepper. I have so many things to say about Pokemon, but this is a Pikmin stream, you know. But I talk about Pikmin and Pokemon streams, uh, and I talk about Pokemon and Pikmin streams. I'll also talk about the economy and Joe Biden. No, I won't do any of that. Well, maybe a little bit, but not a ton. Let's, let's have a little bit of a skill check for myself, okay? I have 40 red Pikmin. Now, orange Bulborbs, they're kind of difficult. I'm not going to use any spray. I'm just going to see what I can do against this orange Bulborb, okay? You know? Son of a... Oh, wait, actually? I'm goaded. Oh. No! <laughs> Alright, see, I get... My problem is I get impatient. I just don't care enough about the Pikmin being lost. Ah, That's a one. It's okay. Pikmin 2 combat is so unforgiving, bro. Super Shroom. Mario in my Pikmin game? Absolutely nuts. I have a nice little apple, a bunch of orange bulb orbs, one dead red Pikmin. Hey, uh, what do we think this is? Do we think it's a Snagrit? Do we think it's Beady? It's probably Beady. Oh! A Snagrit! Nice little boss theme. Ooh, you tried, you stupid idiot. Oh, look at me. I know how to fight Snagrits. Oh, no. I've done it so many times before. Wow. Ah! <laughs> Give me another one. Just one. Just one. That's that's dead. 132 uh, Pocos from the enemy corpses. They add up, guys. I'm telling you. It's always worth it. My dear, how go things? <sighs> she even talks like my girlfriend. We talk in, you know, just just stupid language to each other sometimes. It's really, it's good. I, I'm like, hi, girl. How go things? <laughs> like, that. that's part of my personality. Like, she actually got it pretty spot on, you know? Autumnal Valley, we've never been to. That's eh, probably too many yellow Pikmin, but perhaps, perhaps, perhaps that's too many. Perhaps I do 35, 35, and 20, and then just roll with whatever else uh, happens, you know? Oh, this is a cool spot to start. Is that the way I have to go? Or can I... Oh, this is all water down there, okay. There's a lot of water over here. It's kind of dangerous. Toss all my Pikmin into the water? For $100, I will toss every single Pikmin I have into the water. <laughs> Hello? What's up, Blues? What the f- <laughs> I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! <laughs> Alright. Number one. Thank you, Kyle D. I appreciate it. Number two, you're crazy. Number three, I'm a man of my word. Listen, <laughs> Oh, okay. Thank you, Kyle, for the donation. I really appreciate it. This is, this is, thank you, thank you. The good news is, is the only type of Pikmin we technically suffered an extinction on was indeed the white Pikmin. The reason that's okay is because, like, it's actually not that big of a deal. Next time, say a thousand and I should be fine. You see, I've been throwing out the, the price to replay Lands of Torture has always been a thousand. And I don't ever, ever, ever expect anybody to do that. That is past the price level that it's okay to do that. Open a GoFundMe. I, I do not want to. 
Because I don't want to play through Lands of Torture again. <laughs> Cost to play Kaizo Mario Galaxy again? $35,000. Save the money for yourself. I mean it. I mean it. Anyway, I'd like to drop it because I don't love to... Like, I say it in jest, and then it just becomes, like, a whole thing. Which is crazy. I don't I don't mean for it to be a thing. Just know you paid for my chicken and uh, lamb combo over rice. All right. And if they ask me for my name, I'm going to say Kyle. Zero funds earned today, too. Terrible for the program. West Coast represent. I put your hands up. No, I'm going to go back to the autumnal valley. We didn't do anything here. I'm going to go back. I probably should have gotten out more blues. I only got out 85 Pikmin total because, frankly, I wanted to make more, but I think we ha have enough. Uh, actually, wait, is that? That's poison. I have no white Pikmin, so there's no point in going this way anyway. I need white Pikmin. That's the only cave we can do, huh? Oh no, there's this one. Thermal readings are giving you a headache. Oh wait, you don't have a head. Real humdinger, that ship. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> he knew. He knew it was cringy. It's all good. It's all good. Extreme heat and extreme cold. Yo, you think there's ice Pikmin? I need white Pikmin, dude. I can't... I can't do it without... Without white Pikmin. If there's poison in here, I don't know what to do. <laughs> we don't have any. We killed them all. There is poison. Shoot. Okay. Maybe this cave doesn't have poison aquatic basin okay this is just just water i'm thinking that this one of all of the caves would have the white candy pop buds because if it's only blues then i feel like i only need to bring in blue pikmin you know i'm gonna go into the aquatic basin and we're seeing what's up if all my pick that's not good that noise didn't make it sound good I'm definitely nervous about what goes on in the aquatic basin. If this is the water wraith already, then I don't even know. I've played enough Colossal Caverns, the wraith ain't a worry. You're right, but at the same time, it is kind of a worry because we don't have purple Pikmin. And we won't have purple Pikmin. I like this. This, this is great. Are these greater spotted? Or is this a lesser spotted that's colored? like a greater spotted. I think it is a lesser spotted. Yeah, it's got the health of a lesser spotted. This is underutilized. This is a really good floor layout, actually. Give me something for the program. Give me something for the program. Nothing. That's okay. Nectar's for the program. I like that. Oh, whoa! Ta-da! Hey! It's a coin. Oh, and it's a spider. It just ain't it to me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm plankton. Uh, okay. This is... I'm in danger. There we go. Okay. Yay. I'm just gonna cheese the ranging blister pretty much every time. There's no reason to actually fight him. Fighting him with one captain is indeed difficult. I'll give it that, though. Do we think we're getting anything for the program? I think no. Yeah. That was a big ol' nope-ski. All right, we have... Do we have all five white Pikmin? We do. All right, let's, uh, let's do the other cave then, shall we? Find purples? No. Thankfully, no. This is another one of those where purples are the last type you get, which I think is the correct way of making a Pikmin 2 ROM hack. And in fact, I can give Teddy Ursa Yoshi that credit of course this is well made the progression's very good too I, I i gotta give it up for the progression the way the maps are laid out and remixed a lot of the time it feels like i'm just playing through pikmin 2 again which i am of course at the end of the day that's what it is but it has been good so far you know i i like the water i like the paper bags i like the fact we don't get purples but I also like the quality of life and, like, not having to grind sprays that hard. It's very player-friendly, but at the same time, difficult. It's, it's made for Pikmin fans. <gasps> you know, out of respect to this guy, 
It's a fiery blowhog? <laughs> anyway, we've seen it now, so I can, uh, you know. I can just murk him, you know. But cool, but very cool. More Pokeballs? That is a luxury ball. That's an ice flower. Hey, look at that. Ooh, he's trying. <laughs> it's a Rick and Morty reference. Don't unsubscribe. What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Rick and Morty can be funny. Come on. It's not like end all be all, you know, but like it's got some bangers. <laughs> Don't unsubscribe. <laughs> this is so funny, dude. That's funny to me, anyway. No, no, don't leave. I know I made a Rick and Morty reference. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I don't think... I think it's got some hits and it's got some misses. There's times when Rick and Morty's actually funny, okay? Not that often, but there's some times. Don't do it, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you. Hey, that's the treasure. Let's just leave him alone, shall we? We killed the husband, and now the wife is gonna wake up in the morning and be like, I mean, unidentified spying object. <laughs> Good treasure name. Worked for the bit too, I'm in. My, my streams have a lot of chaotic energy. I think that's an okay thing. Oh God, bomb rocks, uh-oh. Oh, we are in our bomb rock arc. When do, when do the arcs change? Whenever it feels right. We've been in our green arc for a long time. Now we're in our blue arc. All right, that's a hidden treasure. There's totally one in the fiery. I'm really hoping it's fire and not poison. I think it's poison. Uh, this is not the one with orange Pikmin, no. No, that's 251. Oh, don't tell me Pikmin 251 snitch bug. These aren't even close to Pikmin 251 snitch bugs, actually. Maybe their distance they can travel is. But the 251 snitch bugs had, like, far too much health. Bomb rock death. Did I miss that? We lost three to a bomb rock? I really just wasn't paying attention. Hold on. Let me go back in my own stream real quick. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. I didn't even hear it. Like, I knew the bomb rock was there. I was hoping to use it on the quote-unquote fiery bull blacks. I did not realize. I was too busy looking and reading chat and thinking about 251 and, uh, and the number of Pikmin 2 ROM hacks that I've played. Oh my god, you woke up? You're lying! No, dip. Dip, 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 dip. Bro, why is he faster? Eh. I've, I've, I've killed enough of these guys. I think I've deserved... I earned it at this point, right? I earned the right to bitter spray them and just not stress over it anymore, right? I feel like I've earned it at this point. I want to fight them legit for you, but also, like, I think it's okay. <laughs> Cut me some slack. <laughs> I've been watching myself play Kaizo Galaxy for like two <laughs> months now. Please. <laughs> Alright, was that uh that wasn't the only treasure though. Interesting. Oh yeah, right, right, right. It's the hidden one over here. Like I, I realize it's like a little lame. Like, I'm on board, I get it. But at the same time, guys, like the Colossal Caverns has me fight like 15 of them a day. Or more. You know? All right. Well, something's gonna drop from the sky. Odds, odds, it's a crobster. What are we thinking? Oh, bro. Oh. oh, interesting color. H how speedy do we think he is? <laughs> Faster than most rom hacks. <laughs> Oh, he did three! What? Has BD Longlegs ever done three cycles? Three sets of steps? 
I'm almost positive BD has never done that. You tried to get me, Teddy or Sayoshi. You tried to use my knowledge against me. I respect you for that. Oh, the arena is a giant Pokeball. I don't know how I just noticed that. Now we get to talk about Pokemon. <laughs> Again. How is a Hisuian BD Longlegs? I need to go get food eventually. Because I am hungry. I at least had... I've had coffee. And I've eaten, like... A decent lunch. For those of you... What the f*** am I trying to do? Why did I think that would work? Maybe I should take a break. Because that was... That was uber dumb. Do the HPs of the gate... Do they stay, like, day to day? They don't reset. Okay. Do I have both? I still have a captain over here with them. Okay. Yeah, I'll just beat away on this. All right, sure. Sure. What do you guys think? Do I go eat do, or do I keep playing? Why not both? Because I have to, like, go get the food, you know? It's one or the other. It's one or the other. What? Oh, did I not whistle them back? God, I wish I could say that was on purpose. I I noticed it. Guys, I, <laughs> that day was so wrapped up that I didn't even realize that I still had to, like, play the day. I've played through Pikmin 2 that much. <laughs> it seems like I gotta go eat. That's probably the right call. Hey, wait. What? Is this the end of day six and did I forget to save state? Hey, remember how uh, how last stream ended, guys? Last night, where all my uh, white Pikmin died because of my inability to focus and my uh, insatiable hunger? This is a different uh, different timeline, I guess. We're back in the Golden Coast here. Let's go. And now we actually have blues and yellows, so we can indeed do uh, more things. Which I like. There's definitely going to be some blue and yellow specific puzzles that we're going to need to uh, we're going to need to get past. You know, we did break down this wall already because we're just kind of goaded with it, and this is actually going to allow us to. Uh, okay, I didn't know if he was going to jump at us or not. This is going to drain the water here, which is always a good thing. That means that we can get all of our other Pikmin past this this little section. The frog's gonna probably pounce as soon as he gets an opportunity. I see him. I see him lurking. I don't like it. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Towering fruit is the is the name of this. And, and I actually really love how <laughs> the pineapple is covering the name. Guys, look at this gate texture. Look at this. This looks awesome. This is a very cute looking electric gate. In fact, I'm not sure if I even, maybe it's because it's new and different, but I like it, I think, better than Pikmin 3s and 4s. Hold on, hold on. Blum, blum, blum. That means that they did it. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to deal with this man's. I'm just going to do that. Again, I think I've earned it. Is there a treasure up here? Of course there is. It's just Pikmin 2 again. How do I drain this? Or can I not even drain this? I don't think I can drain this. Oh, duh. That's a treasure. We played a lot of very difficult Pikmin ROM hacks. Uh, this one is nothing too difficult or too exceptional so far. Not to say it won't get tougher later, but for now it's not that bad. Not sure how many more caves are actually in this area. Ooh, actually, wait. I can get all types of Pikmin over here, though. I'll try to do that cave. Let's let's head that way. Let's wait for these guys to finish bringing the bitter berries, and uh, and we'll go do that cave, or at least attempt to. And if it's the submerged castle, then I I guess we do the submerged castle to start the stream, or you know, the equivalent of the submerged castle because. Pikmin 2 ROM hack. This time, I'm not going to let these 10 whites explode into nothingness like they did at the end of last stream. This time, they're they're going to work their little butts off to the last second. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm paying attention, I swear. I'm paying attention. We're going to go back.
Digital Laboratory. Fun. Didi! What are you doing in my laboratory? That's past some of your ages. Some of you don't even know what I'm referencing. Some of you are Zoomers. Some of you are born in literally the 21st century, which makes me sick. Zoomers can be old as 27? God, that makes me a Zoomer. Which is so f***ed up, because I'm not a Zoomer. Definitely not. I've never Fortnite danced in my life, okay? I don't even- I don't have TikTok downloaded. And the Forgotten Factory. So we have the Digital Laboratory and the Forgotten Factory. It depends on your mentality. I don't think it does. I think it, it has some pretty clear guidelines as far as the years, you know? Ocean Treasure. Inspired. And that's 40% of the debt, which is pretty cool. It seems like we're going to go to the Digital Laboratory. Looks like we're going to the Dexter's Lab Cave starting tomorrow. Ta-da! Daddy! What's up, son? How we doing? Hope your vape's hitting well and the Fortnite wins are... Rolling in. Have the bosses been changed up? Like, where they're located? Oh, yeah, no, it's a totally, like, unique hack. And also, this looks sweet. We're about to get... We're techno today, guys. We are in the Matrix, for sure. Much, much better uh, reference. Is that going to kill him in one hit? It doesn't. It's fine. All right, that will... Also, did you just deliver this to me on a silver platter? Because I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Go, go to sleep. Oh, you really, you really want some? Give me something big. Give me something massive. Give me something big and massive. Oh, that's big. Some would say that's huge. Mario Sunshine. Does that confirm something I want to do this year? Maybe. Oh, God dang it. Uh, the green electricity looks great. I can't tell if it's a lighting thing or if the anode beetles are legitimately green. I think the anode beetles are just legitimately green. This is like a little too crazy looking for my taste. Like this is, this is a lot of sensory input, this texture, you know? Oh good, yeah, another dirigibug. bug, fantastic. I'm so happy. How about another one? Give me another one. I just, you know, like, like, the, the novelty of this, like, aesthetic and music wears thin when the music is, like, a little too loud and a little too boisterous, and the visuals are a little too loud and a little too boisterous. It's like, it's not a bad thing. Perhaps it's because I'm streaming it to an audience. I feel like if I was just experiencing this while not talking and, like, thinking about things it maybe wouldn't be too much but because i have to do that on top of all of this it's like it's just a little too much input for me personally so perhaps it's not like a pikmin 2 rom hack issue and it's just like a streaming pikmin issue as a whole i like the lighting the lighting's not horrible we've seen much worse believe me we have seen much worse I would say I don't love The Awakening Wood all too much. I think the music in The Awakening Wood is a little too much. Actually, I can say... Oh my... Okay, well this is messed up. That wasn't cool. I very slightly deserve that for dissing on The Awakening Wood music. I was gonna say, before the Volatile Dweeble attacked me, I'm not like a huge fan of of the Awakening Wood and like the Garden of Hope. Like the basic garden areas, I get them as a necessity, but I like it when they have a little bit more something something to them. I like them, I don't love them. How did I know? Oh wow, this is such a crazy, crazy ROM hack. Wow, I love Pikmin too. Grab this, and he carry flags. It probably won't even matter. The white Pikmin are probably too fast. There are carry flags. Fantastic. I'm just a jaded Pikmin player. That's all. This is a reliable rotator. You want to know how reliable of a rotator it is? I consistently have always had the... Let me see if I can get a good focus on this. Hold it. 
I've always had the rubber of my GameCube controller, like, ripped off. Is that just me? I have so many GameCube controllers where this is the case. Perhaps it's because I game too hard. And that's, that's all she wrote. Alright, we're gonna go down to the next floor. Ideally, this cave isn't too much longer, because the music is really starting to wear on my brain. I don't know about you guys, but... Alright, fire! Pikmin 4, Lands of Torture, when? That doesn't exist. Stop asking me to play things that aren't real. This is a, a Panasonic battery. It's a newfound energy. Interesting. No longer Duracell, because we have newfound energy. That's true, we did just find it. That is new. So, I'll give the ship some credit. That's a decent naming, uh, you know, thing it did right there. All right, tell me about it, ship. This is an environmental disc. Sure. What the hell's going on here? No, don't tell me it's an invisible floor. Whoa. Whoa, we are in the... Keanu? Guys, I think I took the red pill. Oh no. Things got dark quick. This is awesome, actually. Of the invisible floors that I've seen in some Pikmin ROM hacks, this is the coolest one by far. I entered the Matrix in Pikmin, okay? Oh my god, there's decorated cannon beetles. That's not good either. This is crazy, actually. This this is this is insane, high key. The bad news is that I think there's a bull bear. Oh no, yeah, there is. There is a bull bear. Period is what I meant. I vibe with it now, actually. I, you know, I was a Matrix doubter previously. Oh my goodness gracious. What? Ah! <laughs> that boulder was in the Matrix, let me tell you. I'm in the Pikmin 2 ROM hack Matrix right now. That's what's happening. The more I talk about Pikmin 2 ROM hacks, the more this hack is gonna just break my brain. Oh, now you wanna fight me. Now you see me. Now you wanna fight me. I see. I see, you giant prick. I'm gonna bitter your butt, dude. You're you're not getting out of this alive. No way. Also, you're pretty damn fast. Holy. Oh, you're Original machine. That bull bear had a whole GameCube in his throat. I should totally deal with whatever's going on here first. I should totally deal. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. Hit the anode beetle, please. Hit the anode beetle. Oh! That antenna beetle took one for the team, let me tell you. Thank you, antenna beetle. I appreciate you. Yes! Nice! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Take another one for the team! Thank you! Oh, so sweet of you, buddy. Thank you. Oh, final floor. Floor seven. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, no. It doesn't seem like we have enough cover. I'll admit. Uh. But it's okay. I'm gonna focus up. I'm not looking at you people, okay? Oh! Oh! Oh, okay! Speedy bullets! Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is not easy. Oh, this is not easy. Oh, sorry, buddy! Yeah, get Louie. Get Louie. That's fine. Give me some s freaking... Oh, wow. That's not what I expected at all. I'm glad we're done with this technological nightmare. What could have created it? I don't know. Some cool guy who likes ROM hacking Pikmin 2, probably. Uh, they grant my whistle the ability to pluck Pikmin from the ground. Very cool. Alright, uh... We didn't do great, but we didn't do bad either. I would give myself probably an 8 and... I would give myself an 8.5.
for that fight. All right, let's finish up the Golden Coast. 100 out of 100. The Forgotten Factory. Whoa, oh my god, Volatile Dweebles off the rip. Okay, glad I got more Bitter Sprays. Maybe not a ton, but I'm glad I got some. Starting to lose a little bit of patience. Just because there are a bunch of bombs everywhere. And these things are fast as heck. Which I dislike. Grab all this. Bomb rock trigger. Pikmin 2. If you just accept it as an inevitability, it'll never make you mad. You know what I mean? If you just accept it as always going to happen, it's never gonna frustrate you. Just always expect a bomb rock. Alright, sub-level 2's in the books. Background music's a bop. Uh, it's a Mario Kart song. I'm not sure exactly which one, but chat will tell you. Bye-bye. He got tired of taking that beat down. Uh, that's a watery blow hug. I guess I'll just scrap. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, just kidding. It's a poisonous blow hug. Oh, mother. Let me down. Far too many bumblers. Hard, hard agree. I didn't want to have to deal with these guys. Look at them. They're fast and ugly. And purple. Just an ugly assortment of enemies. I just want to get the Ultra Ball and go home. Oh. We're going to lose at least one. At least one. I thought about bittering all of them. Oh my god, he did it in the cutscene! Bro, uncool! Uncool! I thought what I could do is I could bait the blowhog to spew one way, but then the problem was is that the bumbler happened to see me at the moment that I tried that, and then it all went to crap because of the cutscene. The good news is, is that we don't need to deal with anything that's going on. I don't need to fight the rest of them. Uh... Yeah, I kind of hate this. Look at that particle effect he's got going on. Looks cute. I like it. Oh, he's, is he coming? Is he coming over to us? Oh my god, you are. Okay, well, first person, huh? And then there is two more treasures. So, there's the metal block. This is a Mario 64 reference. And also a Smash reference. Oh, the Dumple sees me. Stop it. Go away. Go away. Go back home. Nobody likes you. <laughs> weird pathfinding. Really weird pathfinding. Actually, pretty good pathfinding. Because if it... You know, actually, I really like this sublevel in particular. I'll tell you why I like the sublevel in particular. It's because the water is a hazard. However... It is not purely an obstacle. So Pikmin can technically still recover this treasure without being blue. But there is just a lot of water going on, you know? This is definitely, it's had a more chill vibe than the Matrix. Uh, but the Matrix was sweet. Hey, do we think, uh, oh, cringe. Do we think there's gonna be bomb rocks here? That'd be really cringe. Do we think it's gonna be cannon beetles? Yup. Awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, straight up ass. What the? Oi! Oi! Whoa! 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 Not cool of you. This is the kind of sub level that just takes time. And I just don't, like, like, look at this crap, bro. Uh, I don't want to do it. There's something to be said about just not wanting to do a sub-level. Like, completely separate of being able to, just not wanting to. There's something to be said about that. Sorry, guys. I thought we were going to have fun today. But as it turns out, it's a cringe layout with carry flags and volatile dweebles. No fun to be had on this year's sub-level.
Some of you enjoy when I suffer through difficult Pikmin games like this, which I understand. It is how I sort of built the, this city, you know? <laughs> Just like a little bit. I'm really hoping that's the only treasure. I don't think it is, but... Rating on the repeat ball, aesthetically really cool. Outside of that, pretty ass. That was the only treasure. Let's go. That's just That just feels good that I don't have to do this side. You know, I could just call it with one side. Favorite custom treasure so far? They've been pretty underwhelming. Oh, sweet. It's dark. There's antenna beetles. I hear the Gatling groink. I'm not a stranger to that. I'm going to go exploring as a captain before he appears at my base without warning, okay? Ooh, Gatling Groink looks beautiful. Very purple. He shoots faster, too. Which is definitely ass. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm getting wobbled! Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I got bitter sprays. I got bitter sprays for bitter days. Like today! Uh, actually, I need yellows, don't I? Oh! Oh, there is a real one! Oh, goodness gracious. I literally went looking. I went looking! Oh, wow. Okay. Oh! Oh, sh Oh, sh There's- I scouted! Don't pretend. Don't pretend like you're not gonna walk right toward me. Are you serious? Are they uncheesable? What's going on here? Dude, is it seriously patched? Cause like, he totally would have already walked over the ledge by now. Like he totally would have, you know? Like I definitely would have gotten him. I'm gonna test this whole invisible wall theory we got going on, all right? You ready? Are there invisible walls? Survey says. No. Potentially no. Take him and run, please. Get him and go. Oh, what the? Oh, mother. Absolutely not. You! That was a grungy carry flag. They shoot faster. You get another one. That made me upset. Sweet. Sweet. That was a meaty grunk shot too. For sure. Salt meters activated, like low key. <laughs> the essence of emptiness. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh my, no, no. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, heck yeah. You know what? All y'all can suck it. I'm taking all your corpses right back. Give me all six Pocos. Oh, 12 Pocos. Forget it. Metites plus Volatile Dweevils plus Gatling Groinks plus Invisible Walls. Oh, no. Plus it's dark. Plus the Water Wraith. Pwah, 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 pwah. <laughs> It'd be awesome, actually, if the Wraith dropped. It would be awesome if the Wraith dropped, actually. A skull. Had disappeared into the darkness. It just happened to go the exact direction where I needed to do more of the sub level. Are you kidding me? What boss do we think this is? Uh. Oh! What? We get purples! We finally located the purple Pikmin candy pop buds. Yo, after all of that. I think we earned them. I hope it's not the Water Wraith. It wouldn't make a ton of sense if it was the Water Wraith. Because, like, the Water Wraith hasn't been on any of the other floors, so... Did I expect to get them on this cave? No, honestly. Certainly not on the final floor. 
You think it's raging? Yeah, it feels like a raging. There's nothing in, you know, nothing coming down. I ain't too worried. The beady long legs was crazy, though. Whoa! Oh my goodness, look at this texture! Oh my god, he's seething long legs. Oh wait, I'm playing as the wrong captain. I'm playing as the one with one HP. If I get hit, it's all over. Yeah, this smells just as I remembered it did. Wow. The shoe smells about as bad as the bottom of the pits of Tartarus. Kinda like here. You know Tartarus from Greek mythology. <laughs> known for its bad smell. <laughs> Definitely not known for anything else besides how bad it smells. This cave was difficult. This was a definitely a tricky one, for sure. Uh, but we did indeed do it. Ta-da! 40 Pikmin, Jesus. Oh, man. I'm going to go to the Evergreen Forest. I'm going to take down the bottom half of the map before we even get to the top half of the map. Is that okay? We're back. I don't know anything about the areas. I'm just going to kind of send it. I'm going to get out 50 of you. And actually, quite frankly, thinking about it even more, I have 15 purples. And these purple Pikmin are indeed going to allow us to go this way. Am I winning? Like a little bit. I'm winning a little bit. Everybody shout out, quote, Balrog. Much, uh, much better Pikmin content creator than me. Quote's thumbnails go crazy. He does the work, you know? I don't do the work. I just kind of, like, take a screenshot from the last stream, and, uh, and here we are. Oh, it's a hidden. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's actually get some of these guys out. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 we gotta break that down. I have a feeling this is the submerged castle over there. I got 84 picks out. I should have brought some other types, but I think it'll be okay. Oh, boy. Oh, Always going for blues. He ate a white. Yeah. I know we didn't grab the onion. I recognize that. I just wanted to get it kind of out and about so we remember it. Got to make sure the path back to the uh, good old onion's clear, you know? One, two, three. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, and we have to redo this crap? Oh, boy. Here we go. The cave is very lush, which is uh, a really nice adjective. And there are a wide variety of strong enemies below, plus an old foe. I wonder what that could mean. And how many, uh, how many is this gonna take? 150, okay, same, same deal, same deal. Oh, uh-oh, that ain't, that's, oh, jeez! When did you wake up? Why did you wake up? Oh, that doesn't feel right either. Oh my god. Did, did that dude just spit out four pellets? Was that four of them? Somebody run that back. This is gonna take forever to get down, isn't it? It's okay, I didn't want any of it anyway. Locations of buried treasures reset overnight. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. We going into caves today? Uh, we'll see. I gotta get all the treasure first. Above ground. And then we'll start thinking about the uh, good old caves, you know. Which ones are good? You're back? Already? Nice. Alright, now that we've officially exhausted some of the sprays we grinded yesterday, let's, uh, maybe get some more out here. What goes on in this place? Oh! Oh! What? That's totally not at all what I thought would go on in this place. He doesn't even have a treasure, he just exists. I don't know if I want to do that right now. Looks like we're headed to the mechanical toy box. And you guys think I am going to fight the Pileated Snaggard. I'm just going to run around him. Oh, yeah. Okay. See ya. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can you hop up here out of curiosity? Oh, he can. Kind of. All right. <laughs> Good enough. We don't technically need blues, but I will use them for any candy pop buds. For those of you wondering, why are we bringing blues into a cave that we don't need blues for? It's because I have the most blues, and I can use them for potential whites and purple Pikmin. That's why they're here. And also, having all five types of Pikmin is just satisfying. You don't need to backseat me like that. You know what I'm saying? It's okay, you know? Maybe I like blue Pikmin. Maybe they deserve to come into the cave with me. 
you know, I don't want to not include a certain type, you know, unless I have to not include a certain type, i.e. submerged castle. Oh, bombs. Oh, good. Glad we're in the bomb, uh, bomb part of the level. Let's go this way. And, uh, do we think there's gonna be any carry flags? Hi, Key. Where are you going? Oh, this way. Oh, good. Okay, that's fine. Oh, what the? Speaking of carry flags. Oh, P-Switch sets a pick. P stands for pick. Not min, but the, the basketball perm. Oh, that's a regular old Pokeball over there. All right, just get it out of the way. If you're gonna drop one on me, just do it with style. Do have some class when you do it, please. At least do it in the middle here. At least right on top of all my Pikmin. This is a really underwhelming sub-level. There was only bombs here. Would I eat a cat for a Snickers bar? I'm upset I read that message. Also, no. No. Because I'd be too full from the cat. Danger. Ooh, that's a... That's an item. Bring it this way. Don't let the dweevils win. Yeah. The lighting in here is clean? No, the lighting in here is green. Uh, I don't really trust any of this high key. Yep, that's what I meant when I said that I don't trust it. Oh, first ever recorded a node beetle kill by a uh, dude. By one of those dudes, you know? Dude, the music is just absolutely awful. It's just so bad. Oh god, it's just absolutely horrible. I can't wait to never do Pikmin ever again. These ROM hacks just... They hurt my brain, bro. Have Pikmin ROM hackers Google worst Nintendo music compilations and start there. Ha! You guys will be okay when the next thing I do is uh, Pokemon related, right? Y'all won't get mad. I'll come out with the Colossal Caverns video essay. But the actual next project is gonna be... It's gonna be Pokemon. I can't do this anymore, man. I am getting too old to listen to this. It is aging me actively. Yeah, my beard's just gonna turn gray. <laughs> this is what y'all are here for, right? Masuda cooks in the uh, in the recording studio, but he does not cook as a game director. Let me tell you, that guy, he, he loves it raw. That Junichi Masuda. He's not cooking. He eats stuff raw. Vegetables. Chicken. The hopes and dreams of children everywhere. Oh, I forgot I don't have the... Uh, I, I forgot I don't have that yet. I actually, I purposely went through them. Like, because I thought it would be okay. What is this music? I don't know, but I'd like it to end. Alright, and that's that. Let's get the heck up on out of here. So hopefully I can never listen to this song ever again. I just thought about it. If this song was playing during the bread bug floors of Lands of Torture, I may not have actually finished Lands of Torture. Like, it legitimately might have prevented me from playing the game. Speaking of bread bug floors with music, that might go a little too crazy. Here we are. A lot of electricity going on, too. This looks like... This is fun. This is good. This is better, at least. Big man. Hey, big man. How you doing? Come grab this from me, please. Yeah, thank you. That that would that'll do. That'll do. Gameplay. That's pretty sweet looking. Good job on navigating this toy box nightmare. You're telling me. In fact, that was a very quick cave. Usually the caves in Pikmin 2 ROM hacks end up being like way too long and way too intensive. This one was just annoying enough not to grate on me, you know? It, it, it didn't quite ruin my day. Protect me from one of the new hazards on the planet. So nuclear energy, which is supposedly the green hazard, which is electricity. So we got the radiation suit. That was six whole floors. 
All right, now what? Where do we go now? Hello, Snaggered Hole. That doesn't feel right. Thank you. Good, 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 good. Can we see a Snaggered? Oh, oh! Oh, that's cruel and unusual. Medieval crown. I don't think that, uh... I don't think anybody's wearing this on their head. Oh! You got one! What the? No, no, no. It's okay. We were never doing Deathless. That was never in the cards. Never been in the cards. Odds we can do this. Oh, God. I want Pick Hacker to share the Colossal Caverns technology with every Pikmin 2 ROM hacker out there. I want the cutscenes gone. It's 2024. We shouldn't have to do this. If I press the star button on collecting the treasure, it'll skip the cutscene. No, 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 but I'm talking about the... I'm talking about the top right corner. You know, I just want to see it pop up. I'll do it now. I'm hitting start. I'm mashing start. It worked, but, like, it still happened, you know? Like, the interruption still happens, which is the part that I want to go away. Oh, what the... What the... Excuse you. Go away. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Go away. Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, I got bodied. Huh? He does not care about me. This creepy chrysanthemum's bodying me. Let me just talk about that real quick. I'm getting destroyed by him. Final floor. What? Uh, unfreaking cool. I don't like being jump scared by pileated snaggrets. Oh. Good job. I've committed mass avian murder. And for a little touch of karma, this bird contained the most useless upgrade of them all. Not in Colossal Caverns. This is a useful item. And it's useful in um, Pikmin 2 speedruns, I'm pretty sure. I killed you 10 minutes ago. Leave me alone. And this is the Royal Grove. No poison. We are going to complete the uh, the debt, though, after this cave. Because we have... <laughs> we needed 18 Pokos to complete the debt. So we actually got pretty lucky. Because otherwise the day would have ended. And then we would have had to come back and done the whole rigmarole again with Shacho. I'm glad. Oh, there's another one. Green. This is literally a camouflaged water dumple. That's crazy. He's adapted to his environment. It's got... This is like a great ball, but it has like... It has like this weird lump going on. What? What is... It? This great ball has a medical issue, I'm pretty sure. Sunflowers by Post Malone. Whoa! That's a... The dude. That's a dude guy. He's orange. He's not green. I think that's a win. There we go. And that is a Dusk Ball. Commonly given the title of most useful Pokeball outside of the Quick Ball and, of course, the Master Ball. Why are the only new treasures in this game Pokeballs? I have a lot of questions about that, too. But it's made for me, so. Which I like Pokeballs, you know. They're cool, I guess. I want to see a PAL sphere. Show me a PAL sphere treasure, you know? Oh, wow. There's a lot of electricity, huh? Okay. Uh, this is going to get dangerous real quick. Whoa, whoa! Ho, ho! I heard you coming. I don't respect you. However, because we lost those two blues, that does mean we get to see this little little bugger. It appears to have the abilities of a white Pikmin. That's kind of strange. So do they drown? Are these Bulbmen nerfed? That's confusing. 
Alright, get, get this out of the way so I can just do some science. Alright, for science. Oh, their little leaves are orange, too! Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like this. You guys wanted orange Pikmin? Here we are. Oh, no. They, they, they're good. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Hi. Oh, no. No, no, no. I don't want to. No, I don't want to. Oh, yeah. Now I do. Oh, now I don't. Oh, good. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, my God. I have gotten myself in a predicament here. All right. We'll do it the slow way. I'll do it the lame way. Yeah, spit it up a hill. See what happens when you spit it up a hill. Watch this. Momentum. What did that even hit? Oh. Hello. The lame way. Oh, this is... Oh, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Oh my god. Look at this! This is aesthetically, besides the Matrix, the best thing we've seen so far. Jesse. We need to cook. Mr. White, all this baby blue we got, who are we gonna sell him to? The Pikmin, Jesse. You get the Pikmin hooked on baby blue. We're gonna make a fortune. I don't know, Mr. White, is it, is it right to do that? I mean, they, uh, they literally could have just been born yesterday. I mean, that wouldn't be right. Kids that grow up in that environment? I mean, that's some real spooky stuff. I saw a dude's head get crushed by an ATM. That was real messed up. That's gonna screw that kid up for life. And that happened because of because of what we do. Just you can't think about the children. My son, he only wants breakfast. It's not even the best meal of the day. It's literally the worst. I would much rather eat dinner or lunch. Hey, uh, Mr. White, you think the Unova remakes are gonna be any good? Jesse, what are you talking about? Oh, uh, you know, Pokemon. Pokemon black and white. I don't know why it sort of started. It sort of sounds like Eminem. <laughs> my my Jesse sort of has Eminem vibes going on. But Mr. White, he's only a spider. What could he possibly do to our operation? You're gonna be the one to have to do it, Jesse. Gus will never let us live. Gale knows everything. Jesse, look at the crystals in these cave. They have a 99.6 purity. Nobody else in the world can do that. Forget the lush essence, Jesse. We need to take home these crystals. Uh-huh. Here we go. Yay. Woohoo. Oh, it's a giant emperor. Wowie. Hey, look at this. Purples. Wow, 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 wow. All right. Uh, I guess we just do it, right? Nice. Oh, my God. Well, that's a crazy drop. We just did the uh, the Thunder Dragons challenge in Skyward Sword, and now we've been awarded the Hylian Shield. Half of all the Hylian Shields that you can reference, you reference the one in Skyward Sword locked behind the boss battles? Yup. That's the first time I used one. Skyward Sword for Zelda game. At this point, I've played a decent amount of Zelda games. Not all of them, but most of them. But Skyward Sword still has a... I got a soft spot in my heart for Skyward Sword. Reinforced our spacesuits with the metal from the Hylian Shield, which is pretty dope. And with that, we have, believe it or not, completed the debt. 20,000 Pokos. Look at how, look at how many green treasures there are in the evergreen forest. Wow, Mr. White, we did it. We are in 20,000 Pokos. I mean, look at him. Mike is so happy. As if Shacho is somehow Mike. Look, <laughs> Louis, Jesse, and Alamar is, is Walter. Does that make Shacho Mike? Or does that make... Does that make... Oh, no, Shacho. Shacho's Gus. The ship is Mike. Yeah, totally. Okay. We are uh, in this place. We only have one cave left to do here? I detect a certain figure present in this cave. What are reasons we should go in here? You know, that's a great question. Why should we go in here? Yeah, let's not go in there. 
That might be the funniest cave intro dialogue I've ever read, actually. I've read a lot. That might be the most memorable. Yeah, let's not go in there. <laughs> dig, dig, dig. Get it up here. Woo. Good work. Is that the only one? I mean, how many have we gotten, right? We got the bear. We got this, and we got the um, fishing bobber. Yeah, there's still one more. I'm just going to do a little soul searching with uh, with Shacho here. I'm just going to go find it. Uh, oh. Well, that was easy. I'm not going to do a poll. We're going to do the non... We're going to do not the submerged castle first. With all of the Pikmin 2 ROM hacks we've played, the submerged castle version has never lost a poll. All right, let's uh, let's see what's up. I swear, we've only seen one spray drop from, like, anything. Sprays from eggs are disabled? Oh, well, that makes sense. I gotta stop checking, then. That's an L for content, is taking the sprays out of the eggs. That ruins my whole shtick, you know? I get to go... <gasps> And you guys just spam chat. You go huge for the program. And it's a, it's funny, you know? But if that can't happen, then it just makes me a sad camper, is all. This is cool. I like the way this looks. That's a giant bread bug. Okay. I'll do a little bit of bread bug chaining. We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, yeah! That's what I like to see. Nice little rocket fist? Dude, I hate when Pikmin trip into this thing. It's just so insulting. Oh, Jesus. This is just the dream den? Dude, I, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know anymore, man. Oh, there's a... Oh, no. That's not good at all. I'm gonna have to use my last bitter right now. Okay. Maybe I won't. No, I will. I totally will. I'm gonna use it right this second, probably. Maybe not. Oh. Ring of Hidden Power. This is two Pokemon references. And a dive ball. Interesting. I think we could probably get this all the way back. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's do this right quick. Let's see how this goes. Oh, jeez. It didn't. It didn't go. All right, give me something massive here. Come on, we really could use it. Oh, my God. I didn't even... Oh, wow. Oh, totally not worth. Totally bad. Totally just abysmal. My apologies. It's getting late. This is, oh no. Oh yeah. Are there rocks? Are there gonna be a ton of rocks? No. Good, I like that actually, that's really nice. I also thought it was gonna be the Cropster, but then I saw her face. And now I'm a believer. And then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. <laughs> Not a trace. A doubt in my mind. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> now I'm a believer. I could leave her if I true. No, 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 no. The Empress Bull Black's left behind this perplexing bowl. Almost like the perplexing pool. That's a Pikmin reference. You should like and subscribe right now. We have a debt to repay. I don't think the ship knows, but we, we did that already. You're golden, buddy. You're literally golden. This is the Jumbo Whistle. I think we have enough time to beat up this, uh, this bull board. Nah, probably not. Get him up, let him get up, let him get up, let him get up. Fight back! Fight back! Fight back! Mm, actually? Buzzer beater, baby. Let's go. I'm going to quickly take a peek here. Okay, this is obviously the haunted crypt. It has everything. I just want to know. 
Is there a way for me to get purples all the way over here? I feel like there totally is, you know? Like, that's not even that far. I gotta know for science. I have to do it for science. I'll do... I'll start with one. We'll see if we can get one over there. We have the entire day to do this. This toady bloister's really... Really messing it up for everybody, though. These things look like they have more health, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you're dead. Sweet. Awesome. So glad. Sweet. And no patience. I could do it slower, but that would be annoying and stupid. Alright, we have one purple over here. I want to assume that they'll let me in with the purples, you know? Oh, I see. So I have 91 Pikmin with me, but only 89 out of 99 are entering. So they just won't allow purples in the cave, period. However, we did get the purples to this spot. That's I think that's good enough for me. Alright, I'm locking in. I'm locking in. Oh my god. Okay, we're back to the blue fog of war. Dude, it's so dark down here. I can hear the Bulbman, but dude, I cannot see where I'm going. He's right next to me! I couldn't even see him! Oh, that's so annoying. Oh my god. I cannot even see. I literally can't see. Hold on. I have to turn my brightness up on my monitor. My monitor is significantly uh, darker than what you see on screen. Because, like, you know, I'm not trying to burn my eyes every time I stream. So, that should be... Okay, that'll be serviceable, at least. Oh my god, I hear him coming. I just... Dude, I... I... Hold the... F I still have my brightness settings on the screen. I literally... He's... The Bulbman was behind it. The Bulbman was behind my brightness settings. I shouldn't complain about not seeing. We did play through the last floor of Kaizo. I don't know how the fuck I did that. I would never do that today. At this stage in my YouTube career, I would nope on out of the final floor of Kaizo. Like, I can't even trust my Pikmin to stand still. Oh my god. I'm locking in. I have to. Oh my goodness. Oh no. He can at least kill the fiery bull blacks, I guess. Oh, the theme's crazy. The theme's actually really good. Oh, he's so cool. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna be here a while. Dude, he's so quick! Oh my god, he's so fast. Oh, no! Bro, he's so- he's invisible. Like, he's straight up invisible. Okay, what? I have to turn this off. I have to turn that light off so that I can see. He's invisible to me. And he's still- at least I can see him now. This is the Ring of Haste. Very funny. That wasn't even it? Oh, wow. I hate this. This is stress-inducing. Oh, he's in- okay, so he's in that room. This is how you make the submerged castle scary again. This is a good job, Teddy Yoshi. You're doing a good job. I think the first stream I was maybe writing the mod off a little too much. I think right now, I'm just impressed. This is a pretty refreshing take of Submerged. I could not agree more. We've seen meme takes, but I think that this is like, actually like, Submerged Castle difficulty mod, you know? This feels like the way it should be done. Does that make any sense? I'm pretty sure this is the one who makes all my Pikmin scared. Yeah. That's dangerous. Oh! Whoa! An egg! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! What the? Hi. Boldmen are broken, bro. 
Like, I killed him. He was already dead, and he still ate. Oh! Little monster! Go away. The color palette's hard to look at. You know, it's actually pretty easy to look at. It's hard to decipher. Oh. Oh, he's... What? Oh. Uh, where is he? We're missing one. Soldier. Oh, he's all the way over there? Oh. Nobody left behind. <laughs> if we can help it. I'm glad we farmed spices as well. Frankly. What is that? Is that a candlestick? What is that? <gasps> it's a key? A gambler's key. We're gambling, all right. We're gambling with our lives. What mod is the best version of the submerged castle? Dare I say this one so far. I'm worried about carry flags. I'm like really worried about carry flags. Why are you going this way? Oh! Okay. What the- what the- Carry flags. Alright, take the biggest treasure first. Biggest first. Oh! My god. Why did you have to be right next to everybody? Ho 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 ho! Oh, wow. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, don't do that ever again. What the hell is that? What is that? Oh, it's a... I didn't know what that was. Confused cube. Nobody died from that? Sweet. <gasps> okay. And the Goliath Gourd. That's not it. Still another one somewhere. Jelly float. It's in a big jelly float. Oh! Nice job. Sweet. Oh. 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 I'm having fun. <laughs> this is this is this is what I like. This is why I stream, folks. This is makes me feel alive, you know? The music makes the wraith more intense than usual. So facts. And now we have electricity. I'm so glad there's electricity here. Was that a rock? Are there falling rocks on this sublevel? I also thought that was the Wraith. I was like, it's been 30 seconds. I oh, I couldn't tell. <laughs> Nothing mean. Don't drop anything that mean on me, please. Well, I mean, that's not what I meant, but, like, sure. <laughs> it's not going that bad. Uh, I have to stay with them every, all, like, at all times because of carry flags and the wraith. Oh, careful! Oh, wow. Oh, goodness, that was close. Nope, stop. That should be it. Okay. I need perps. What the hell? These aren't purple Pikmin. Oh, those are. <laughs> Alright, good. Yep.
Sorry, guys. I wish there was more suspense, but I'm a little too good at Pikmin. <laughs> I do like how this is a tiny area, though. Well, that's certainly nice of them. Uh, the orb appears to be weaker. Interesting. At least use whatever energy is left in it. So that means that the caves are still probably going to be dark. <laughs> Oh, we actually can see a little bit better. Okay. Well, that was the last cave in the uh, Autumnal Valley. There's only one more area left for us to tackle, and it is the final area of the game. I don't even know what it's called. But this may have been the best version of the Submerged Castle I've ever played. Simply, the music went crazy. The atmosphere was right on point. I had to change my lighting setup. Like that. That's how you know it was actually serious, you know? Okay, let's check out the sacred snowfield. Why not? I love this texture work though. This looks this is gorgeous. This is nice. Everything still is a little tiny bit green. But this is you know. That's just come to be expected in Pikmin 216 right now. Alright, there's some bitters. Like right here, this is a spot for a boss for sure. That's a statue of Teddy Ursa. Oh, that's adorable! I hear the bull bear too. I'm not I'm not a stranger to the fact that there's a bull bear that exists. Maybe this area is much bigger than I thought, actually. In in Pikmin 251, that area is huge. The foreboding forest, I think it's called. That area is massive. Yeah, see, this gives me boss vibes. Oh, I see the bull bear. Bull bear sees me too, actually, which is crazy. Give me something massive, please. Nah, all right. Why is that bell sort of moving? It's like kind of haunted. I thought about waiting for it to fall off, but it looks like it's actually not going to. I think it's just going to slowly shift back and forth on top of there, you know? Oh, no. No! <laughs> we'll see what happens here. What did you say? Detecting interdimensional interference. There's only one enemy who's interdimensional. We have to do it again? Bro. Advise bringing a squad with all five Pikmin colors. Okay, will do. However, I'm kind of, uh... Oh my god, so unbelievable. Truly, I didn't think that would happen. Actually, I thought it would be okay. Molly hops are not above cheating. True. I'm detecting incredible danger. Countless sources of every hazardous element. Awesome. I have also detected demons present down here. Good luck with that. <laughs> demons? Are you for real? Pikmin 2 casually making me fight my demons. A grass patch in this land of snow. How fascinating. I detect lots of trees and grass inside the cave. How's that possible? Underground. If we want to become even richer, we'll need to delve in here to collect treasure. Yeah, the grass cave to me doesn't seem like the final cave. There are four caves. Really? We just gotta go find it then. Which side did we not go to? I guess we didn't go all the way over there. Oh yeah, there was the snowball borbs. Right, right, right. With the white Pikmin. Right, right, right. I have to go do that. This feels like a boss. Oh yeah, it was. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the BD long legs texture looks great. I like the translucentness of it. I also was hoping for the crobster. Is that weird that I was hoping it would be a crobster and I'd have to run away from it down the slope? For content, I wanted that. Not for my mental, but for content, for sure, definitely. This is a lot of hazards. I gotta get poison, water, and then electricity, actually. So I need to go get some yellows. So I will change out the reds for yellows. All right, let's do... Let's do 30 more. I'm sensing a very high amount of temporal energy coming from this cave. Is this Dialga? Louis may have ventured into the lands. Okay, all right. So this is the final cave. Got it. Any treasures over here just while I'm... In the vicinity? Doesn't seem like it. Huh. Okay. There's a sausage. Grab that, please. Scrumptious remains. Cute. 
Oh, it's 20. And how many blues do we have? Survey says... I said survey says... 19. Phenomenal. Yep. Yeah. All right, the Celestial City. Let's end it. Nothing to de-stress like a difficult Pikmin mod, huh? Sit back, relax, and enjoy some lovely, aesthetically pleasing cave architecture. Oh, yeah. Let me get... It amazes me. Did, did they make it impossible for the these things to walk off the edge? They must have. All right. Who's dying? Who's, who's, who's going to do it? You first. Number one. Okay. Yeah, he, see, he can't go over the edge. It's kind of crazy. Oh, I knew that would happen. Get your hands off of Ali. Get your filthy mitts off of him. Unhand me, foul creature. That's what I think Olimar sounds like. Except it's probably more like, you know? That was confusing. Oh, that was even more incredibly confusing. How is that the first time I've ever seen that interaction happen? I'm honestly surprised that the Pikmin captains didn't come down here with, like, weapons, you know? Like, they're just relying on the Pikmin. Like, you'd think Hokutate would have some type of, like, firearm, at least. Like, if you have spaceships, there is the Nova Blaster. That's true, too. Louis with a gun would also be no more stronger than normal Louis. That's facts, actually. Louis is a freak of nature. Another Pokemon reference. Don't you dare spit fire at me. Look at that. Look at his eyes. That's totally, uh... He's, he's mad at me. I don't know why. What did I do to you? Some of these enemies have zero reason to actually kill Pikmin besides sport. Which I think is ridiculous. Like, all the enemies just have this... Vendetta against Pikmin. Sub level five. Let's hit it. He's quick. Why are you so quick? Please tell me I can at least get this, whatever it is. All right. Beautiful. Nice little gemstone. Yeah, that is it. All right. Cool. I have a feeling there's going to be some beetles on this sublevel, so I'm not just going to send it on down. I feel like there's totally going to be at least one. Ta-da! Well, okay, just another one of these things. I'll take the spices. I mean, whatever. I mean, that's eight spicy sprays. Like, that's, that's a lot. A lot of sprays. I, I'm not going to complain. I just... I guess I'm shocked that there's not the other type. There's been, what, two per floor so far? So we've gotten 12 of them? So there's going to be 10, 10 floors total? Does that sound right? Oh, my God. Oh, look at the star! Oh, that's so sweet! Oh. Ha, <laughs> that wasn't sweet. The star was sweet. The oh, oh! Don't worry, he's gonna get picked up by Lakitu. Don't worry, Lakitu's got him. No, don't do it, you have so much to live for. No! Comet Star. Wow. I, like, don't want to leave the sub-level, but there's no reason for us to be here. We got three more caves to go, so. Where are you going? What are you doing? Who do you think you are? Bro body blocked for his dad. How sweet of you. Stop beating up my dad. No. Go ahead. Try to drag your little... Yeah, I know you want to give him a proper burial and everything, but uh, I'm taking him for cash. I'm making money off your son's body. That's right. Oh. Is he gonna... <laughs> he was straight. <laughs> no!
no, Dad, no, I'll protect you. Without my son, what do I have to live for? Dry dessert? It's not worth it anymore. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so messed up, but so funny at the same time. It's the bread bugs that make me feel really bad. Because you do actually have to kill them in this game. They made it in Pikmin 4 that you don't. You could just dig up their stash. In this game, to get the treasure back, you do need to kill them. And the remaining son refuses to let me win. I killed a family of four. Uh, actually, I only killed the kids. The dad just couldn't bear the thought of life without the kids. I mean, it's almost like the entire purpose behind us being on this planet is to procreate and nothing else. And make money. It's making money versus having a family. The age-old American dilemma. Here on Rainbow Road, USA. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. We have made it. To the sun? Is that... There's a lot going on. If you don't go to the moon in a Pikmin ROM hack, are you even playing a Pikmin ROM hack? Oh my god, we're literally on the moon. Oh wow, I didn't even... How did I not notice that till right this second? We're on top of the moon. Assumedly, the next floor is indeed the last floor. If there are 17 treasures in this uh, cave, then I'm imagining the next floor is the last one. Okay, this doesn't seem like a final floor. The music immediately comes back in full force. <laughs> this is hype, actually. That's so hype. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bumbler. Appreciate you. That's the only time that's ever been helpful. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Bonk. There's so many enemies. Oh my god, he's, he's totally gonna see us. Dude, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? This has just been nuts. This whole sub-level has been all types of off the walls. Hopefully that's the last one and I can just send it, but goodness gracious, look at this. This is the biggest sub-level we've seen so far in the entire game. This feels like a final floor. This feels like a crab too. This feels like the crab. What? What? I can't get to these guys? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Never mind. It was another raging. Okay. Um. Stop. Oh, I tried to. You know what I tried to do. Oh. <sighs> All right. So we lost four Pikmin there, but I felt like we did pretty okay. Uh, everybody say goodbye to the Celestial City. That was a pretty awesome cave. I liked how it went from the stars to Rainbow Road to the sun and the moon. I think I'm going to do the Lost Forest next. Because to me, that feels like it's going to be the easiest. Because it has the least treasure. And that might be misguided, but truly, I don't think it'll matter. And it's also right here, so... We've yet to see the crab. We've seen two raging long legs, but we have not seen a crab yet. Duck season. Rabbit season. Duck season. Snaggrit season. Yeah, there wasn't a treasure inside that man's. It was just the ball. I just felt like killing him, you know? They've wronged me. Plenty of them have wronged me in the past. Mostly the roof snaggrit. The roof snaggrit is where my grudge came from, absolutely. This is the hidden land from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Dude, all these Pikmin ROM hacks, they just make me want to play some type of Pokemon. Is that weird? There's just so many references. I'm like, oh yeah, I do like that series. Oh wow, hello. Good morning. Hi there. Okay. 
Oh, excuse the F out of you. No way. <laughs> they were dating. Well, they can date in the underworld, too. This mod has progressively gotten better. Hope it's not overly frustrating. It's been so far just the right amount of frustrating. N nothing. It, the only things that frustrate me are things that would frustrate me in like a vanilla Pikmin 2, you know? So, so far I haven't minded it. It's just so dangerous. Oh God. Now keep shoving them that way. Yeah. Just keep, keep going. You're good. You're good. And stop. Dude, if there were any enemies in this tube, it'd be so mean. Because you can't move the camera through the tube. Like, look, when I try to do this, it just does this, which is insane. And then I come out of the tube, and it's like, oh, you wanted to go forward, right? You wanted to look like this, because this is a pretty cool angle. Nah, sorry, nope, can't do that. <laughs> You can't climb the wall. Oh, you're pathetic. Pathetic. You're weak. You lack anger. Oh, they're gonna die. I'm gonna bitter. Yeah, give me something big. That counts. Oh my god. Is this... Oh, for a second I thought we were in, um, Pianta Village. This is Maple Treeway! Literally! Do we think my Pikmin can fall off the edge, or do we think these are walls? Try walking off and find out. You're kinda right. Nope. It is a wall. This is the first non-green area you've seen. You know, the cutscene hit, and I got incredibly spooked. Because I was just trying to run past the tree. But that was an exponential fade to black. That that looked like that was editing, okay? That wasn't... That looked like editing was happening. Nah, oh my goodness gracious, there is... This is absolutely a crab, isn't it? There's no walls outside of the whole... This has to be the crab, right? <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. That was crazy. Do you think there's a second one? Dude, the boss music's still going. Yeah, so there has to be another one, right? Snagrit season. I really should do that more often. I honestly, I hardly consider the Snagrits to be like a boss enemy. So I forget that they have the, uh, the drops that they do. I'll get out another blue. We gotta go to the elemental castle. They mentioned that there was some interdimensional things going on in the elemental castle. Notice how it's called Castle, which is why I'm a little unnerved. It could be potentially a second type of submerged castle. Welcome to the elevator. This is Pikmin 2 Elevator Music ASMR. There's a lot of poison. This is totally a boss. I'm a little nervous, actually. I don't know what boss this is going to be. Well? Color me stupid. There was a wraith down here. Wraith has no treasure interesting? I believe you're... Correct. Can I... Excuse you. That was much harder than it looked. 
Is this Symphony of the Night? That's the one with Richter, right? Richter. Simon! Don't you dare. Okay. Something big. Little guy? Aw, oh, nothing. Alright. You guys can take either the path to the right through the snowy bulborb, or you can take the path to the left and avoid him. Oh, and you're taking the right. Good call. Good, good, good work, everybody. Good work, team. I've seen you guys go this way. Bump into these guys, and it's always annoying when you do. You don't see them. Don't even act like you see them. Super shell. Like super soakers. The water guns. I know kids nowadays, you guys don't go outside. But back in my day, we had what were called super soakers. They were toy guns filled with water, and they used to blast each other with them. And that's how we had fun back in the day. Back in the 80s when I was a kid. Gotta be some beetles around these parts, right? Ain't no way there's not. Uh, oh. Any Beatles in chat? It doesn't even need to be John or Paul. Like, I'll take George or Ringo, you know. I definitely don't want Yoko. This is strange. This is fire under water. I'm interested. Scared, but interested. Um, okay, my biggest concern here is obviously the fiery Paul Black's chilling. I will bitter him. I will bitter this man's. Oh, well now I have to do it the stupid way. I will, but... Like, I could technically have brought the reds over, but then it just becomes a mess, you know? Show me some carry flags. I don't think there was enough volatile dweebles on this sub-level. We only saw five of them, and I want there to be more. Oh! Oh, good. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. All right. More fire. More. Oh, my. I heard all of them spawn. I know they're around. Don't waste the bombs. There's an emperor. I can do whatever I want. Oh, and there's a fire flower, too. That's adorable. Oh, there's, uh, yeah, the anode beetles, too. Let's pretend they don't exist. Yes, I should probably use some purples, but I think that I could probably just get him to, uh, to suck up the bombs. Nobody try to attack the electricity. If you try, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking candidly to all of you right now. Do not try to attack any of the electricity. Don't do it. Stay in the corner. Look, I know it's right there. It looks nice and juicy, but don't do it. Flaming flower. Ooh, on the nose there. Okay, where are we headed? Oh, another emperor. Nope, not the bomb rock. Boy, is not the bomb rock. That was a mellow sub-level. For the, all the bombs and the fire, that was pretty mellow. I gotta admit. Yeah, I figured this wouldn't be the last floor. <sighs> bombs and fire. Yeah, this is what I signed up for today. Hey, is this the final floor? No. Oh, but there's an empress with babies. Yay. I love babies. You know what time it is. This thing definitely has more health. Oh, what the? Oh, no. <sighs> if you have to burper from the side, you have to burper from the side. I, you know, I know that. Like, I've just done it so many times. I just have no patience, you know? <laughs> That's really it. That's all it is. Get him. Wow. <laughs> Sub-level 14. Let's see what's up. I think there was like, is there 23 treasures in this? Yeah, final floor like, definitely. If this turns out to be another long legs, you're gonna be mad. Well, I imagine this is the crab. What color do we think the crab is gonna be? We think it's gonna be green or we think it's gonna be red to match all of this? I'm thinking red. 
Oh, yup. Hello, Mr. Dude. Oh, Speedy. Oh, no, he's fast. Oh, boy. Oh, he's got a lot of HP. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <gasps> That's good to know. That swing attack doesn't usually kill Pikmin. That doesn't usually kill Pikmin. That's crazy. I need more. I need more reinforcements. That's an insane way to make the crab more difficult. That's actually crazy. I did not expect that in the slightest. Look at the regen. Oh, I'm so greedy. I have to stay on the correct side of him then. Oh my god. I got... Oh. I didn't even see it. Dude, this is ass, actually. I can't believe how straight up deadly he is. Bro, oh my god, there's a late boulder every time. Oh no, dude. This is not right. Reset for the mental refresh? Nah. Knowing it's the final floor makes it okay. Mostly it's just like... I just can't believe it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you gotta use your resources. Alright, here we go. Oh, run, folks. Oh, oh what? What? He got lit on fire? Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. I'm confused. <gasps> what the f I don't understand the rules. Looks like perps are the only ones that don't get insta-killed? Potentially. Oh my god. That was crazy. I've never seen something so... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. Imagine if its HP started going back up. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine if they gave the crab a regen timer? Like a bull bear or something? I have no idea if it's possible to give him that property. I also wonder how many Pocos this thing's worth. A cool year's salary, please. 30? Okay. I think I'd rather save the final cave for another time. Because I think that's a really good place to call it. You know, that felt climactic, and I just feel like I don't want to suffer through the next cave. Five hours of Pikmin will do some things to your brain, and, uh, and I'm pretty sure that we've earned a little bit of a, a intermission. There's only one cave left to do here in the Sacred Snowfield. Not sure exactly how long it's going to take, and we definitely have time to make it over to the Temporal Ruins, I believe is the, the last cave. Oh, come on, guys. Drink it all up, men. We are going in. And we are going in. Nope. Hot. If I can even make it there. Actually, high key, I might not be able to make it there. I'm going to try, but if there's any enemies in our way, then the odds are actually pretty low. <laughs> Ten seconds left on the clock. Come on, boys. Get it together. Everybody start running. Oh, we got time. Ladies and gentlemen, the final cave of Pikmin 216, the Temporal Ruins. And uh, it is gorgeous, is the main thing. Pikmin 216, absolutely the most aesthetically pleasing of all of the mods that we have done here. Oh my god. Imagine getting double killed like that. That was... He got teamed up on. That wasn't cool. Oh, that was beautiful. That was the best timed I've ever seen any of these boulders be. No Pikmin in danger. We do it all ourselves here. It's actually kind of crazy that, like, they did do themselves that dirty. That was pretty fast, all things considered. Violence conspiring between all of the cannon beetles on PNF 404. They just do not get along, you know. Sweet treat. Fantastic. 
I'm imagining then this cave may be 15 floors. Why do I think that? Because if there's only one treasure on this floor and the final boss of the game has five treasures, then I think it's going to be a treasure per floor a la something like the Hall of Heroes. And if that's going to be the start of this here final cave, I have absolutely no issue. Stop being scared. What are you scared of? Besides the impending doom of the Titan Bleevil. Yeah, pick it all up off the ground. Who cares? Give me everything. I am not here to take any prisoners. I am here to use their bodies for cold, hard cash. Come here, you big lug. I only want to hug you. Oh, very violent hug. Am I going to look at challenge mode after this? Nah, probably not. Oh, 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 really bad. I know he's going to get one. Uh, two more blues. Okay. Again, the goal. I don't want to have to come back through this cave. If we lose too many blues, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, you know? Oh, nice. Okay. Nope. So cat, unbelievable, dude. Sometimes they just live and they're just able to do bad things. The only treasure on the sub level, which means that we potentially have the ability to completely bypass all this crap. And that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, okay, maybe maybe a, a little bit more violence. Not a ton, but like just a little bit probably. Hold on. I have to I have to commit violence real quick. Just tried to get past these guys, but they all just wanted me dead. It wasn't my fault. I did it in self-defense. This is the Frontier Caves boss level right here. And we will need the blues, actually. So hopefully the treasure's not more than... What do we have, 16 blues left? We really don't have enough Pikmin to bring this man down, do we? It's kind of wild, actually. Really wild, Jesus. Come on, come down here. Phew. Ta-da. Oh God, oh go I'm glad. Oh, so sweet, thank, oh, come on. Oh. Mm. What, wait, huh, wait. What just happened, did he shake him off? Oh! Oh no! Oh, leave me alone. Poison Blowhog, leave me alone. Yeah, that confused me a lot, actually. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Alright, we're on sub level 8. And it looks. Disastrous! Bro, there's no cover? Oh. <laughs> There's no cover. For Honey Wisp. Okay. All right, come over here. All the way over here, sir. That'll work. That'll work. This will work. Oh, nothing? Nothing for the program. Wow, I thought we for sure we would get at least one. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, what the? Okay, all right, where did he go? Oh my goodness! Leave me alone! Actually, we'll be safe if we take both captains. Do it the old-fashioned way. At least starting the old-fashioned way. Flying enemies on this layout are just... So annoying. <laughs> it's just so awful, usually. Right, we don't even have to go that way, I don't think. Just for the cave, right? Because the moon ball is over this way. Nope, 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 don't, nope, don't. Oh, God. Oh, dangerous antenna beetle. Hold up. <gasps> uh, 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 don't run off the edge and don't follow him. Oh my god. 
Hello. Would you mind doing me a solid here and just, uh... Yeah, thank you. Thank you. We should be clear as long as there's no carry flags, but of course... This is this layout. So I imagine... That there will be some type of carry flag. Music's a jam, for sure. Don't you dare. Don't distract my men. With your evil, hypnotic ways. The Pikmin still sing their song, I believe. When the Antenna Beetle, uh... Even if they're still alive. We still know if there's no treasure or not based on the noises our Pikmin make. I believe. It's hard to hear. Okay, yeah, we're good. Uh, and I will do more blues, yeah. Just in case. Oh. Had... Frame by frame that. Frame by frame that one. <laughs> Cause... I don't know. Cause I don't know. Oh, hello, Mr. Beetle. Hello. Good to see you. Good, good to make your acquaintance. I dislike that the sprays don't come from the eggs. That's the one knock I'll give this mod outside of some of the bad music. The bad music is just always going to happen in Pikmin 2 ROM hacks. That's just sometimes it's just going to be ear piercing. But the lack of sprays from eggs is very sad. And it doesn't make any sense because it doesn't seem like they want you to limit your sprays either because they made it so that berries, uh, you only need five berries to make a spray instead of ten. Oh, good. So glad the fiery Bullblax is awake on the sub-level. That's everything I needed. Ha! Huh. Little bro took a bullet for his, uh, his fiery uncle, didn't he? What do we think is more of a worry? Water or eventual electricity from the Titan Dweeble? I'm thinking the Titan Dweeble. Oh, don't spit it through the wall. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'll be forever mad at you. Yep, there it goes. I'll get out of the way. Oh, what the... Oh. oh. Oh, mean game. Mean, 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 mean. Stop dropping these things on my head. I don't like them. I'm just gonna leave this bumbling snitch bug to exist on the sub-level. Oh, is this it? This is the last? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, huh. Uh, oh, this look. Dude, look at the way the Titan Dweeble looks. Hold on, let me. Oh, yeah. Dude, there is no. There is no cover at all. I would almost be better off using all of my Pikmin all at the same time. Right? Like... I think I have to go for the electricity first. Okay. Alright. Oh, yeah. The poison is so egregious, dude. I can't... Oh my. Yup! No! Yeah, okay. Straight up. Can't. Bro, they're moving so far away. Alright, alright. We're in less danger now. I'm gonna do the fire next. Probably. Uh, no, nah, maybe I'll do the poison next. Oh, wow, really? For realsies? Get him, buddy. One yellow Pikmin will be... Oh, what the... What's going on? Is he spitting at the ones below him? Is that what's happening? I keep... Are they invisible? Are they invisible? I'm just... Oh, no. Okay. Okay. All right. 
<laughs> Good to know. I can't help him. I can't help that one. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh my goodness. I got hit by some. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Ha! I. Oh, my God. Don't make me do it again. Please, 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 please. I think I'm going to have to do it again. Ha! Oh, my God, bro. I don't want to do it again, so I'm just going to send it. And hopefully, it'll be okay. I, bro, no, I, I'm, it's over, it's over. I, mm, why do the hazards have to be invisible? Why do they have to be invisible, bro? I know I, I know I can't save the purple. I, look at this, yeah, here we go. I, I have to reset before I get a Pikmin extinction and then forced to leave and it saves, so. The Titan Dweagle just takes so long to kill, bro. And, and guys, he moves so fast and gives me such a small window that I can't necessarily always get the one that I want. You understand? Like, I'd rather have him have invisible poison than invisible electricity, you know? The water's like the most annoying one somehow. Now that we know there's a risk of it becoming invisible, now we know what to deal with and what's gonna happen. I won't be caught off guard by invisible hazards again, okay? Now that we know it's a possibility. I thought that would go better than it did. I thought that would go better than it did. That's why I did that. Oh, hello. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, I should still try it again, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna take what I got. Oh, no, they're invisible now. Oh, they're invisible now. All right, we've made it to invisible hazard part of the fight, I guess. It's okay. It's okay. Nice work, boys. It's smoking. Oh, my. Nice. All right. Oh, oh my goodness, it, it got it. Wowie, look at the colors on this bad boy. Okay, that was a game, wasn't it? Let's leave him doing his thing and let's just run through and collect all this crap, shall we? How long have I been going? Two hours? Yeah, that probably has taken about half the stream. The nuclear reactor. That's crazy. Oh, just the comedy bomb again. Except now it's red. And the hydro cannon. Okay. And for the last time, let's go! Woo! GG Pikmin 216. Give me my friend back. Oh, the red Pikmin got stuck. Get him to the cargo hold. Paradoxical Enigma. Wow. And the value's 217. I'm sort of confused about that value, but... Is that that was the final boss of Pikmin 216. And that was the final cave. The temporal ruins are indeed complete and uh we lost probably like 40 50 pikmin maybe 60 i don't know felt like a lot felt like probably too many pikmin 58 that was close <laughs> that's what we do here folks we make money and we kill bugs that's gonna be all from me. This was indeed the final Pikmin 216 stream. Uh, definitely really cool ROM hack. Uh, a lot of aesthetic things have been really a treat to look at. I mean, from the Diamond's Cave to the like lava-ish area to the Crobster and everything. I mean, like stuff has been 
pretty cool, all things considered, in 216. I think I started off with the mod, doubting it a little bit, but I think that we actively saw the progression of somebody creating it and their skill set, which I think is really cool. You could see the mod progressively go from, like, pretty good to, like, much better. Definitely check out Pikmin 216 for yourself if you are a fan of Pikmin 2 as a whole. It is not that much more difficult than regular Pikmin 2. It is more difficult, but not that much more difficult. So, uh, I definitely can recommend it alongside, like, 251. For those of you who aren't into, like, the Kaizo or the Lands of Tortures, but do want to play some type of Pikmin 2 ROM hack. Uh, if you guys enjoy the content, you already know how to support me. Be sure to leave a like. Look out for future streams and all of that. Subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 32K. This was Pikmin 216, and it was pretty cool.